Superintendent Dr. Amy Krupe, Dr. Carter Postel, our Director of Curriculum, Integration, and Instruction, and Dr. Stephanie Domich, our Director of 21st Century Learning, and express appreciation for their leadership and all of Central Office's leadership. I would also like to recognize and express gratitude to the Hazel Park Advantage staff members who are all present here tonight and sincerely thank them for their efforts to help our students reach this pinnacle. The work you put in all year, whether virtual or in person, should be commended and makes tonight's celebration possible. Thank you. And last but not least, Congratulations to the class of 2021. We are proud of you and your accomplishments. You endured a traumatic pandemic, managed to focus on your academics, and reached this important milestone. I'm certain that I am not alone when I say you should be praised for your resilience. At this time, I would like to introduce to you tonight's distinguished speaker, Hazel Park School Superintendent, Dr. Amy Krupe. Thank you, Mr. Smith. And I just wanna thank you for all the patience, love, and kindness that you've given these students. Good evening, Board of Education, parents, families, friends of our honored graduates, administration, teachers, and our outstanding and amazing class of 2021. What an honor it is to be here tonight speaking to you as you celebrate this as memorable moment in, in your educational journey. What a journey it has been. You have gone from learning letters and sounds to novels and stories, numbers and counting to equations and algebraic expressions, making friends and following directions, to questioning and in advocating for what is right and equitable. All of you have walked a path with challenges that many of us in the room have very little knowledge of what is and how you have walked to get here. You have done so much with grace and pride. We are honored to be here acknowledging you this evening. If we have not learned anything this last 18 months, I have hoped we have learned that this generation, like no other, is just not because of your remarkable skills and talents, but because, we have, because you have been tested in ways that have not been an unmanageable to previous generations. We have demanded you to be stronger and more resilient than any before. We have found that you are gonna be the generation of students that did not let anything get in your way of goals and aspirations. You have shown that your heart, courage, and commitment to finishing your education has been second to none. Not only have you enduring experience that no other graduation class has, but you have come out the other side more flexible, more aware of who you are and ready to look at the world straight in the eye and take charge. I know 30 years from now, the traditional story of walking to school 10 miles in the snow and the rain will be replaced with the year of the pandemic stories that all of you will be ready to tell your children, assuring them that they have nothing on you. You are courageous, amazing, and strong. But after you walk away today, how will you be the difference maker? As you walk out into the community, take the lead in your community and lead the way to be the difference maker. How will you support and do what is right to ensure in your community that it is safe? Will you be the good neighbor? Or will you use your voice to share your opinion on a need or an injustice? Will you give time to clean up a park or help children or simply give involved to a community organization or be a difference maker? As you walk out to a job or to a school, will you be a difference maker? Will you find a job or an organization to work for that supports or makes an impact on things that you believe in for life or in the world that you want to change? 
Will you build or change the culture at work or a school by supporting those around you and build a sense of connection or community? Or will you show up on time, ready to work for class with a positive attitude on how to be a difference maker in the work? As you walk into your home, will you make your family know how important and safe they need to be around you? Will you support and let people know that you will lift them up when they are down with life's problems? Support them with compassion and care with your heart? Will you be a difference maker? Will you look the world straight in the eye and make the changes that finds equalities for all people and give everyone a chance like you that you've had today to graduate, to move on to school, to a job or a training center? Will you come back to us when you need support, compassion, or a helping hand? Will Hazel Park always be your difference maker? Graduates for 2021, Hazel Park is honored to have been a part of your life and being a difference maker for you. We honor you, we celebrate you, and want you to know no task or road you take is ever insurmountable because you are a difference maker. You are a Hazel Park Advantage graduate of class of 221. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> um, my name is Ms. Marcotte. I'm the resource room teacher here at Advantage, and I'm honored to presenting to be presenting um, this student with the Outstanding Student Award this evening. This student is resilient, dedicated, meticulous, kind, inspiring, and creative. One quote that reflects this student and their character comes from Bob Goff. It, say, it states, courage doesn't mean we're not afraid anymore. It just means our actions aren't controlled by our doubts. This student tremendously, is tremendously courageous and goes the extra mile so that she could graduate this year. When I started at Advantage back in January of this year, one of the first goals that this student expressed to me was that she wanted to graduate and wanted to know what she had to do in order to achieve that goal. This student had a fear of math and felt that it would be a hindrance to her graduating. She and Mr. Smith had daily Zoom sessions to work on our online math class together. After a while, she had the confidence to ditch Mr. Smith and was able to complete two math classes on her own. Working weekends, evenings, and after school for weeks to complete five online courses along with keeping pace with her three in-person classes, this student persevered and accomplished exactly what she planned. When I talked to her mom on the phone for parent-teacher conferences, she shared with me that she couldn't be more proud of her daughter and was excited for her future. The teaching staff at Advantage collectively stated that this student was a joy to have in their class. It has been a true blessing to work alongside this student in their classes, planning for the future, and dancing the night away at prom. This student not only going to, is not only going to use your motivation to graduate high school, but plans to attend community college in the fall for wildlife biology. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Um, I would like to congratulate Trinity Demenciarne <laughs> on receiving the most outstanding student award for the 2021 school year and the winner of the Curry Robertson Scholarship. I have no doubt that you will continue to use the gifts and talents that you have to be successful beyond these school walls. I cannot wait to see and hear about how you've made an impact in your community in the years to come. Congratulations, Trinity.
First, I would like to thank each and every one of you for showing up here tonight. I know each graduate here today appreciates the support you are giving them and has managed to overcome challenges that we could never have anticipated these past two school years. As we look towards the future, we can always look back on this year and see our resilience in overcoming any obstacle that came in our way. We know that we have the determination and skills to continue to overcome challenges that will come in life later on. When I was younger, I never believed that I would graduate. But with the support of the amazing staff at Hazel Park Advantage and the people around me, I have learned, I'm sorry, I'm crying. <laughs> I have learned to not only trust in myself, but to believe in others as well. Even now, as I stand here reading the speech, it took a great deal of courage, encouragement, time, and effort that the teachers gave and continue to give to each student that walks through the door. I hope I am speaking for the other graduates as well when I say that the support from the amazing teachers and staff at Advantage were able to go above and beyond, and we were able to go above and beyond and even reach for the stars. I will miss coming to school each day and being able to see and experience each and every opportunity that the school had to offer me. Even if sometimes I just took said opportunities to annoy my teachers. <laughs> I will always remember the times when my work was finished and I had the golden opportunity to make my teachers smile or shake in their boots, such as the one time I was walking down the hallways behind Miss Marcotte and managed to scare her with a squeaky toy I had hidden in my bag the night before. I had never seen a teacher scream so loud and had such a hard time controlling my own laughter. I remember all the times Mr. Smith joked with me and pushed me to be my best self, even if sometimes we butted heads. I will also remember all the times Ms. Warner spent making sure I understood my math, which by the way, took quite a bit of time and effort. I hope to continue to reach for my dreams as I hope my fellow graduates will as well, with my memories and experience from these last few years as a guiding light. Thank you all for the best high school memories I could ask for and encouraging me to never give up. Hi, I'm Melissa Warner. I teach math at Advantage. Our Farnish stu sorry, student of the year tonight will be commended for his determination, because of course we can't just have one this year. In September, he approached Mr. Smith about him graduating, and Mr. Smith had some very depressing news. Ooh, sorry, I had to hold my dress down. <laughs> This young man was 13 credits short, which was 26 classes away from graduating. And if he worked very hard, he could graduate next year. Well, for this student, that answer wasn't good enough. He committed himself to working tirelessly day and night. Some time in December, he approached Mr. Smith again about graduation. Mr. Smith told him that he still had 15 classes left. The student was infuriated. He yelled at Mr. Smith and aggressively stated, I did all of these classes and you're still telling me I have 15 classes left? You're not right, Mr. Smith. Again, the two sat down and looked at his credit sheet, but this time Mr. Smith had the student take a picture of his credit sheet and text the number of the classes that was 15 to himself so that there was no future confusion. The two had a heart-to-heart -heart talk and discussed how graduating next year wasn't a bad thing. He agreed, but would not be denied. He quit his job to focus on school. He worked harder than ever before and would text or call Mr. Smith at all hours of the night and on weekends to ask to have activity reset or a failure or a test unlocked. About once a week, Mr. Smith would get a text in which the student would indicate that he had finished another class. Let's not forget that he also had the responsibility of this student in, uh, sorry, his in other in-person -person classes in which he passed as well. The final text from the student came at 1.15 a.m. on Thursday, May 20th. I finished my class, last class with two days to spare. Deshaun Lewis, be proud of yourself. You are the epitome of determination, grit, perseverance, and performing under pressure. Your feat is remarkable, 
and you have made your parents, Advantage staff, and the Hazel Park School her community extremely proud. In this life, having prior success set up for one's future success, based on the way you perform this year, you are the very bright future ahead. Let's give a round of applause for Advantage Student of the Year, Deshaun Lewis. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. COVID-19 had us work these annoying masks transition back and forth between in-person and remote learning and put a damper on the things that we could do throughout the school year, but we managed to graduate. I'd like to take the time to thank my teachers for helping me get to where I need to be and my principal, Mr. Smith, for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself and showing me that it's never too late to accomplish a goal. High school was a big transition for me and not taking school seriously in the beginning was my biggest mistake. In the end, I had to make up all the classes that I had failed. My experience at Advantage is something that I will never forget because I got the chance to finish what I started. The support and encouragement I received from the teachers and staff helped keep me motivated and determined to pass out my classes and graduate. Although COVID-19 came about, it still didn't deter me. Remote learning wasn't as easy as I thought it would be, but I still managed to get through it. This goes to show that if you never give up and chase your dreams, they will turn into reality. Today is the start of a milestone. It tells you how far you have come. Your dreams are not impossible. Keep trying, keep learning, keep dreaming. The choices you make today will impact your future tomorrow. Every accomplishment will make you thrive on your new journey. Be proud, be strong, and be safe. Good evening. <clears throat> now it's time, but before we get started, this is one of the quietest graduations I've ever been to, so we gotta make some noise. We about to get ready to announce y'all babies. At the football games, I know that they make noise on the bleachers. They stump and make that sound. Can I hear that aluminum? Yeah. Make some noise. <laughs> That's right, this is the time that we've been waiting for. It's time to announce our Advantage 2021 graduates. Look at their faces, they're all smiling, some are nervous, but we are going to have a good time tonight. How many people going out to eat with your babies tonight? Y'all taking them out? Okay, I see balloons and all that stuff. So before we get started to make these announcements, I would like for everyone to understand some housekeeping issues. Just be mindful of others when you're taking pictures. So I'm gonna take my time and call these names slow so you can get your pictures and everything like that. So I guess uh, wait till we set up. We, let's make some more noise, y'all, it's too quiet. For those who don't know, I'm Mr. Reynolds, I'm the school social worker. And um, I had an opportunity to meet these young people. Um, I wish I could have known them longer, but hey, some of them are gonna come back and say, hey, right? No? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay, without further ado, our first Hazel Park Advantage 2021 graduate, Michaela Burroughs. <laughs> Make some noise for her, y'all can clap. Next, Trinity de Messonier. There you go, stump those bleachers. Amarion Gaskin. Somebody loves you. 
Ariana Hood. Ayala Hubbard. <laughs> there go that fan club. Michelle Jackson. Graduates, please stay in your seats. Graduates, we ask that you still stay here in your seats when you get. You didn't leave us yet. Brianna Larkins. Deshaun Lewis. Deshaun, you still basking in the glow from his award. We just called your name, brother. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Christopher Madison. Mariana Waller. Okay, now we got a dancer. Uh-oh. We need some music. Last but not least, Sean Williams. Twin. <laughs> taking this stroll. At this time, I'd like you to give all of the graduates of a round of applause and make some noise. They did it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Hazel Park Advantage Class of 2021. Let's give them a round of applause. Would the Class of 2021 please stand? Members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Amy Krupe, family and friends, it gives me great pleasure to announce to you that the students of Hazel Park Advantage of 2021 are now graduated. <laughs> Graduates, you may now move your tassel from right to left. I now pronounce you graduates of 2021. Congratulations, graduates. Sean, please stay there, I'm not done yet. Anyone who has experienced success has experienced some type of adversity that they had to overcome. Sometimes we need some assistance and encouragement from someone else to help us persevere when we get discouraged. President Abraham Lincoln said, I'm a success today because I had a friend who believed in me and I didn't have the heart to let him down. The reason that each student has received the rose tonight is to recognize and show gratitude to the person who believed in them. As we exit, graduates, please find the person who supported you throughout your journey, whether it's a friend, a family member, a teacher, or an administrator. Find that person, thank them, and present them with the rose as a token of your appreciation. Please be safe as you celebrate tonight. Congratulations, class of 2021. 
Young Rona. <laughs>